Let's take a quick glance at the code that powers the Reddit learning talk bot. Two main libraries power this Python. Two main libraries power the script. First is Kobe, which is a Markov chain based text generation library and MegaHAL style chatbot. It handles all of the bot logic for us. And the second is Pra, which is the Python Reddit API wrapper and that makes it very easy for us to get and send information to the Reddit API. So the bot consists of a few scripts and the starting point is settings.py, which is where you will put in all of your information uh, that lets you interface with the Reddit API. So first you have to create an app. You would log into Reddit, click on preferences, then click on apps and scroll down to the bottom and you would do create another app. And once you have that, you will have access to the client ID and the client secret, which is the two key pieces of information here. So you key those in here, the client ID, the client secret, the password for the account, the username, and then just a, a little message for the API. And so that's everything that you need in settings.py. Then we need to create the bot itself. So we import the brain from the code library. We pass it a string, which will be the name of the database that it creates and uses to store all of its information. And we assign that to a variable so that we can used it in other parts of the script. Now, the bot has a script to learn, which is just an endless loop. It gets a random subreddit. It gets all of the top 25 hottest posts. It goes through all the submissions. It gets all of the comments, and then it feeds all of those comments to brain.learn one by one. It feeds all of the comments, and then the bot will break down those comments and store them in the database where it uses them to generate replies. And it waits 15 seconds, and then it grabs another subreddit and starts the process of learning all over again. So then everything gets stored in a SQLite database. Here we can take a look at the database. It's just a graph database. Uh, but the interesting table is the tokens table, which is not refreshing. All of the words that you feed to the bot get broken down and stored in here. So you can see it's a very, very big list. It's uh, about 150,000 different tokens right now. And the database gets stored as a file right in the TalkBot directory. So everything is contained in here. So that's basically how the bot learns. Now, once the bot has learned quite a bit of words, you can have it talk. So there is a talk script here. And what the talk script does is every 10 minutes, it grabs a random post from a random subreddit from one year ago, and it reposts it to that subreddit to try to earn some post karma. And then the random reply here, it grabs a random post from our all, and then it grabs a random comment from that post, and it feeds it to the bot and says, hey bot, I need a response to this comment. And then it just posts a reply, and then it waits 10 minutes and it starts all over again. So all of that logic is actually in here, in reddit.py, which is the final, uh, script file. So we have the two functions that we defined, which is random submission, and it works just like I said. It grabs a random post from a year ago and then just reposts it to the same subreddit. That's all that's all that's going on there. And then here random reply. Uh, there's a little bit more to it. Just grab a random subreddit from or a random post from our all and feed it to the bot brain uh, reply method and we get a response and then uh, we use pra to reply directly to that same comment and so when you have both of these scripts running like i do here i have uh, learn.py running and i have talk.py running so if we go and check out the bots account 
right here we should see that it is yeah it's it's making comments on people's posts or, or people's comments um yeah lots of lots of comments lots of posts right now it has about 5300 post karma and 416 common karma so if you just let this run you know it's it's gonna keep doing his thing uh but but that's about it it's not not a whole lot to it and it's uh, a nice little bot learning its way through the world of reddit and all the nice people on there but that's it thanks for watching